Hi everyone. Um, I want to show you something I've done uh, for a Facebook group uh, that's called Nina's Rebena uh, Agile Not Props and More Prompts and More. Um, I've done it last week and I had several several people ask me how I've done this and I haven't uh, filmed it at the time but uh, I thought maybe I can do something similar and show you how to make this if i'm not going to do exactly the same thing because it would be boring so for this uh, demonstration i my canvas uh, so to speak would be an envelope and a manila envelope i think it's called i've got this in white or in this color and it doesn't matter use whatever you have the measurements are uh, 229 millimeters and 324 millimeters in inches it's a uh, 9 inch uh, by uh, 12 and a half inch so um, I'm going uh, to use leftovers that was the prompt of the month of February, uh, February. Reuse, uh, repurpose, and recycle. I'm going to leave a link uh, below to, in the description box to the Facebook group that uh, is great. Uh, to Nina's channel that it's even more than great. I don't have the words for it. And let's start. So uh, I'm doing this on envelope because you probably seen a lot of uh, uh, videos that. Uh, make uh, our journal covers with uh, the envelope. I'm doing today something a little bit different. I'm going to make it into a cover for an, a notebook. It's a great gift and I love uh, giving it uh, to my friends or uh, sending it on happy mail. I'm going to show you uh, several uh, examples. Basically this is uh, one of them and the thing is, you can do, uh, you can decorate it uh, uh, however you want. There are several, uh, you can do <laughs> whatever comes into your mind. What I'm, uh, I'm basically doing it, for it to be a notebook cover is adding here two uh, pockets so I can slide in whatever notebook I want and when I'm finished with the notebook I can change it and still reuse this cover like this and most of the time I'm all also making a how do you call this um, bookmark so this is a notebook mark so that's the one of the covers here is another one uh, first here I used a scrapbook paper and a leftover a napkin paper here I have used a tissue paper that I stamped uh, with lots of uh, stamps I have and then I've added a li little pieces from a napkin uh, this embellishment is something I bought and this is just uh, this elastic elastic band for a uh, hair and scrapbook paper and a page from a book and again a, a mark here this is uh, so as you can see you can do many things and each time it looks different than the last one another one and another one and this this one is uh, not for a notebook but it's the same thing this is for an art journal and I like making this stuff and embellishing it each time differently so, to start with the, uh, working on this cover, first of all I like to, uh, to start here with the flap. 
before I glue or paint anything else. So I'm uh, taking leftover uh, book pages and not something uh, new of course, this is uh, uh, from um, Arts and Artists uh, Dictionary that I bought for a pound when I was in London and here I have from uh, some uh, pocket book, an old one you can see the difference in the colors of the pages this is from a uh, Hebrew encyclopedia, very old, something from the 60s and that's what I'm using so it's not a uh, it's things that uh, would have gone to recycling or garbage and I'm using them uh, to decorate things. So, white glue for gluing the pages. I like uh, putting here uh, all pages or any decoration that I decided so it would still be re, uh, you can use it when you have a notebook to put <coughs> papers in like here I can put whatever I want here so here it is and I like to mix uh, the paper that I'm using, but if you like a, a certain uh, color, like the brown ones, more than this, you can just stick uh, to one color, one uh, kind of pages. You don't have to mix it. And I also like to flip uh, the text around, so it will be more interesting okay so the flap I've finished now uh, it has to uh, dry and then I will uh, cut the excess uh, now you just go and glue on uh, both the sides of the envelope my recommendation because it's the first layer and you don't want to waste your whole day on it just take whole pages and run uh, with the straight lines after this uh, layer you can add whatever you want to break the these large pieces so i'm taking it aside i've already uh, uh, made one so we don't have to wait or stop the video uh, for it to dry here is one that's finished both sides and basically before you continue i'm recommending to uh, fold it and don't go uh, exactly to this line uh, take one or two millimeters because after that you will have you need to also fold the flap so the cover will be uh, closed so also when you are uh, when you see it's uh, closed you can uh, plan what is going to be on this on the face on the of, of this cover and what will be on the back so the uh, next stage was uh, I had a uh, also book pages that I've stamped and I wanted to incorporate them uh, on this cover so it will be more interesting especially that here I only used one kind of uh, book page it's from uh, 
the old uh, pocket book so I want uh, more uh, color in in uh, on this cover so I'm just adding a few pieces here and there I'm not uh, really planning I think it's uh, just I don't know how to call it go with the flow whatever you like go with it and let's see I, don't, I want a small butterfly but I don't I can't find now Of course you don't have to do the back, I just like to add to the whole cover. When it's dry, I will uh, trim it down. So, this is the first uh, thing I've done. And um, now it has to, I have to dry it because I want to put more stamp on it for uh, another layer. And I'll stop the video and get back. Okay, so it's mostly dry. I'm adding now, uh, this is a text uh, handwriting uh, stamp. I'm going to apply it randomly on the envelope, like this. Try to break uh, the lines and definition between elements that you glued. It will be more cohesive the whole piece the more butterflies and I didn't have a already made let's see So 
something like that. So now I, I'm going to show you how I made a, the butterflies, the leaves and this uh, element. So the butterflies are basically leftover napkin, uh, which I, I think I've already done several uh, videos uh, on how to use your uh, paper napkins. I'm addicted to them. Basically, I'm uh, always taking leftovers and gluing them to another piece of uh, more uh, sturdy paper. And then I've stamped it, uh, the butterfly and fussy cut it. So, of course, it doesn't have to be a butterfly. Here I have a flower, more butterflies, whatever you want. So, these are uh, the butterflies from uh, the last project. Uh, let's see. Now I just uh, to show you, uh, it doesn't have to be of course leftovers, here I have a napkin that I want to use, uh, so I, I took a scrap of paper that I don't like, I bought a, a huge bulk of uh, scrapbook papers that several of them I didn't like, so I'm using them for this thing and basically i took the napkin and i'm gluing it down i found uh, lately that it's better to glue uh, paper napkins with a sponge uh, brush because then you don't have blobs or excess of glue underneath and of course when you are using a paper napkin separate uh, the additional uh, layers of white uh, paper don't i don't care if there are wrinkles i like the wrinkles they are adding more volume to whatever you are going to use it for so this is basically it and then i've just taken a stamp stamped it and fussy cut it that's how i've got uh, this uh, embellishments of uh, flowers and butterflies so i'm going to stick them down uh, for this i'm going to use a silicone glue silicone glue is basically like uh, you the yuho glue that come in comes in tubes and i like this glue very much it's strong it uh, it dries uh, more quickly than the white glue but you do need to at least uh, put a little bit of pressure so it will stay down at the beginning next Of course, you can also use a heavy matte medium and if you are afraid about uh, it keeping uh, and not smearing, you can still also make a, use a glue or a, the matte medium to seal these uh, elements. And Okay, 
so I'll get to the other part after now for uh, the other embellishments I've used this uh, kind of twine I don't know how to call it basically it's it looks like the material that is made uh, that burlap is uh, made of and I basically uh, you need to and round it up on itself to make a spiral and glue it down now if you have patience that I don't have uh, start by putting a little bit of glue sticking this uh, the start of the twine and let it dry when it's dry then add another uh, more glue around it and then start uh, making the spiral again to make this process uh, more efficient I've already made uh, this uh, you can make them uh, on plastic or on a uh, wax paper or uh, silicone things that uh, the glue won't stick to them permanently so you make them uh, on uh, this kind of things wait for it to dry and then gently peel it so you can see here is the glue now I can use them and uh, put them wherever I want You can also uh, uh, glue them uh, to a paper, but then you you can't pay, peel it when it's dry. But you can uh, um, cut them out, and uh, but you have to understand that you will have a, a, a paper underneath it, so it will be seen. So I think I'm going to put another one. Okay, so now let's see uh, the skeleton leaves. I've got these skeleton leaves, they are a natural color and I wanted them uh, in a color similar to my butterflies. So, to make this, let's see, I don't want to make a mess. Uh, paper towel, leaves and I just took a uh, piece of torn paper, let's see, here, and because I didn't want it to be exactly with um, a straight line, and I'm taking uh, spray colors that I make from food coloring. This is, uh, our ma this is made from a few drops of food color and water, that's it. And I have this one which is from uh, the Bruchu powders and I got this uh, I got from Nina. Uh, she sent me in Happy Mail. So uh, this is black and I'm doing half with black. And let's see if I have another. This is turquoise, turquoise, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's 
a little bit uh, was a little bit uh, green for my taste so I took blue light blue and added it to my leaf and if you see that you have a part that isn't covered you can go in and add more of course wait for it to dry and then glue it to whatever surface you decided to decorate it here one let's do the other one And here is another leaf and as added bonus you have leftover paper and a uh, paper towel with paint that I'm going probably to use in another project so I'm taking this aside going back to my cover okay, I need to wipe here Here we go. Didn't take much uh, color, so I'm going to add I'm just going to glue with white glue So basically that's how I made uh, in the art journal page that then I framed because I loved it uh, very much uh, from last week. Uh, the only thing uh, that I've added is um, I took uh, acrylic uh, paint sepia which is uh, brown. Uh, diluted it with water and just uh, went around and made a lot of uh, I don't know shadowing so it, there will be more interest uh, but here I don't think I'm going to add it I will really like this uh, I'm going to ink around the edges and then I'm going to show you how I am making the pocket so the notebook uh, will uh, you can insert the notebook here so uh, first I'm waiting uh, for this to dry and then I'll come back okay I'm back and now I've inked uh, around the edges 
uh, with an ink pad and I'm uh, going to show you how to make the pockets so uh, the notebook can be inserted in basically you just need uh, any kind of uh, sturdy paper and here is junk mail that I've covered with uh, again uh, pages from a book and you just need it to cut it to size and glue here now that's what I've planned to use uh, for this cover and it was prepared in advance but then I thought this is boring let's find something else and I came up with two ideas to use here uh, so you can do it doesn't have to be another paper uh, first idea uh, lace of course to trim it here and it's add another it, it's adding another thing for your uh, cover it's I think it's very nice and here's another uh, kind also can be very uh, nice here but since I've used uh, the twine I thought maybe I need to use something similar and I've just bought bullet so I'm thinking I can use this for my pockets something like this and it's going to be a uh, more cohesive with what I've done here because it's the same material so uh, basically we just cut it to size I'm taking the silicone glue I'm letting it dry. When it's dry, I'm going to...